So in this video, we will be talking about the nonlinear analysis that are offered by the Myra Civil. As we know that there can be a variety of nonlinear analysis as per the requirement. So I will give you an overview like what different kind of nonlinear analysis can be performed in this software. So from the starting point, like first we will talk about the vibration analysis that is eigenvalue analysis. So as we know, if we opt for any response spectrum or pushover analysis, it is important that we first perform the eigenvalue analysis. Hence, that is performed using this feature under the analysis and we are having this eigenvalue analysis. Then at the later stage, we will talk about the geometric and material nonlinearity as well in this video. So to begin with, before performing eigenvalue analysis, it is important that we convert the structure weight to the mass. So for that, we go under the structure tab here. And here we are having the option of convert self weight into mass. So you just need to check on this option and click on OK. Now next, in case you want to move, like in case you want to change any load to masses, the loads that has been applied. So that can also be done using this feature. So you can just select the load case. So if I select the crash barrier, you can give the scale factor and click on OK. That is how we can convert the load to mass using this feature. Then next we move towards the definition of eigenvalue. So for that under the analysis tab, here we go under eigenvalue. We give the number of frequencies that are to be considered. And based upon the type of analysis required, you can choose subspace, land cross or ridge vector. Once this is done, we click on OK. And then we can simply perform the analysis. So as we know that the requirements can vary for different engineers. So Midas actually offers like one in all solution where you can perform different analysis as per the requirement. Now for checking the results for this, we go under the results tab and here under the mode shapes, I can just simply click on this option. And here we are having the time period of different frequency of our structure. Like we have selected 10 frequency, hence corresponding to 10 mode, we have this time period and the frequency. And also we get the modal mass participation ratios in this form. So that is how it is very easy to consider the eigenvalue analysis in the MIDA civil. Now, if we talk about the geometric and material nonlinearity, so for that I'm showing this as an example where we are having a column of height 7 meter as shown here and we have given a fixed support at the bottom. The nodal loads which I have applied is like in global X we have given 100 kN load and at global Z in negative direction we have given 300 kN. So as you can calculate that the moment at this bottom will be 100 into this 7 that will be 700 kilonewton meter. So if we just check the results for this. Hence we are getting 700 kilonewton. But suppose we uh, need to consider the nonlinear loading as well like the P delta effect will be simulated when we are having some deformation over here. So for that we are having this analysis control under the nonlinear. We can choose the geometric nonlinear or material nonlinear as per the requirement. So if we go with the geometric nonlinear, here we need to select the load case. So I'll be selecting this dead load case and I'll give the number of load step as 5 and we'll give the load factor as point increment of 0.2. Hence in the first step 0.2 loading will be applied and in subsequent stages we'll have an increment of 0.2. So once this is done, I click on OK and then we can perform the analysis. So now if we check the bending moment value, so you can see there is an increment of 83.97 kN meter. That is because of the deformation that must be coming and with the 300 kN force. So if we check the DX deformation, that is 0.28 and if you multiply 0.28 into 300 so we get something around 84 and hence we are getting an increment of this 84 kilonewton meter in the bending moment at the bottom so this is because of the consideration of the p delta effect and you can see the results in the steps so that is how we can consider the geometric nonlinearity in the same manner like for the consideration of material nonlinearity what we can do is when we define the material so here we are having the option of considering the inelastic material property for our material so let me unlock my model first so 
So from here we can define the different models for consideration of nonlinearity like this. We give the inputs and we get the nonlinear material and then we can perform in the analysis with this material nonlinear part. So that is how we can consider that thing. And if I talk about the pushover, so we do have the pushover control, but we'll be sharing that insights in some other video. Since this is itself a long definition, we can define the hinge properties. But the reason being we can perform the pushover analysis by defining different hinges. So that is another application of the MIDAS cell. I hope this video was a learning for you. See you in the next.